Hello there, people. I thought we'd do a, a reaction. Come, let's watch video. Uh, we're gonna do Eat With Me, a uh, Cheesecake Factory from um, our gore, uh, good old Amberlynn Reed. Of course, I'm gonna contribute to the dislike ratio because why not? Let's, uh, let's, let's watch. Hey guys, so I'm just about to do my makeup. Uh, Becky and I are gonna go to Lexington today. And I know this is like a fat shaming joke that everyone talks about, but yes, we are going to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, I have not been there in forever, and you guys know that because every time I do go there, I do vlog. So. Oh, we know you vlog when you go to Cheesecake Factory. Also, I failed to see the funny side. In, you know, in laughing about this. Oh, yeah, when we go, I'm gonna request to sit outside because, babe, what's the temperature? Um, it's in the 80s. It's in the 80s, so it's pretty warm out there. So, yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll see you guys when I am done. Why the conversation What, babe? Why? Why? Oh, look, she looks much more daintier than usual, of course. What? <laughs> yeah, I just want to let you guys know. We were like on a serious subject of like religion. Yeah, so anyways, um, I just finished my makeup. I don't like how my hair looks at all. Like it's in this crazy bun. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I use for my makeup, which most of you already know. So for my foundation, I use Becca foundation in the color Porcelain. I'm not going to comment too much on the makeup stuff, but I did hear somewhere that she puts a uh, hair conditioner on her face as a type of uh, facial cream, which is definitely not what hair uh, conditioner is for. But that's really all I've got to put in on the, uh, the makeup thing, to be honest. She doesn't look any daintier with the makeup on, to be, to be honest, but, you know, the meme of she looks daintier when she puts on the makeup is kind of humorous. Which I love, but this, I had to order this online, is broken. Okay, I'm not a beauty guru, so forget about it. But it's broken, so I have to actually pour it out onto my brush. Um, I use e.l.f. for my eyebrows. For my mascara, I use Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious, and I asked you guys to send me messages on what mascara you guys like, and I've been reading all of them. The most like popular one right now is Better Than Sex Mascara, so that's the one I'm probably going to get next. I'm just going to order it online. Oh, this was before the self-censoring era of YouTube. I think usually when she mentions the Better Than Sex range of, um, of makeup, she spells it out as S-E-X rather than saying the word because she fears of getting uh, demonetized. What? I don't know if it's better than sex because I haven't used it. Um, so I just use this e.l.f. thing um, eyeshadow palette for um, a mirror. For my lips, I use... Oh, we have an advert. Speaking of which, let me just mute this and uh, what we can do is... Actually, there's a way to bypass advertising. Give me a moment. What I'll do is I'll quickly show a trick for people who, uh, who are not aware. So I don't really want to give Amberlynn the money for any of this. So you just press replay. Pause. I'll best unmute. So we was at 207. Let me just quickly go back to that. And there we go. We'll have no adverts now because we're running a replay. Ultra HD in the color Kisses. If you don't have um, ad block installed or whatever, uh, you can just simply do that and bypass any advertising. Which you guys know, for eyeliner, I always use e.l.f. Very black because that's important. And there's, I use this glitter stuff like right here, right here, a little bit on my nose. And I don't know what this is called, what the brand is. I've had it since high school, so. And then for a little bit of blush, I use Tarte and Party. 
So yeah, we're about to leave. I don't like my outfit like in the slightest. I was gonna wear a black cardigan. Can't find it anywhere. So yeah, we're about to go. It is 4.05 p.m. and it takes about two hours to get there, so. We are here. Of course we have a good old Becky sighting uh, right now. Probably not the most flattering angle uh, to be viewing your partner from, but hey, Amber the narcissist, am I right? You excited? I know, we are starving. We were literally seated as soon as we got here. <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but why does Becky always look like she has the, uh, has a permanently unamused face? She, she never looks happy in any video whatsoever. She looks like she's permanently in a mood. Like someone's just, like, pissed her off or something. She never looks happy or smiling. I mean, I suppose if you were Anne Boleyn, I guess, you know, that would make you, uh, automatically depressed, I suppose. So, I would get the same thing, which is, this looks a little different. Um, they don't have, all right, you can't do the lunch portion on any way. You can't do lunch portion? I get the orange chicken. Bam. And there's the greatest meme ever that became a thing. The whole orange chicken thing. thing. Amazing. It, it's gone past being a meme though, because this entire addiction here is pretty much what contributed to, uh, to her having the, uh, the big C, essentially. In fact, treating your body like shit is gonna make you end up getting the big C. I mean, who, who would have thunk it, right? What's funny? People are like, why do you keep doing duck lips? It's just a habit. Get the fuck out of here. You think you look so- you look- you think you look like hot shit. Because of you being all done up with your makeup. You think you're like an Instagram model or something. Get the fuck out of here. And don't give me this body positivity bullshit either. That, this is as far from the body positive, positivity movement as possible. This is like, bordering on, like, death store, death store obesity. This is, there's no body, posi body positivity here. The only positivity that she's putting into her body is the plus pounds when she's getting on that, on those, uh, talking scales of hers. I, I honestly don't know. It's really pretty. Out in it. Yeah, it's a very nice day. Oh god, I have to see myself. What? Oh. You look good. Just a hint, Amber. Maybe your girlfriend doesn't want to be on camera. Just saying. You look good. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, looks like my little trick didn't work. I guess it's only on mobile you can do that then. Not on, uh, not on YouTube. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. I should really install that block for this browser. I think I will actually do that in, uh, in due time. Also, Narcissist Lynn uh, saying she doesn't look good when someone compliments that she looks good. That's another typical sign of a narcissist denying any type of compliment because, you know, they feel like they're not worth it. But deep down, they love the attention they're getting. Yeah, that's sweet, thanks. This is what your CRM should look like. HubSpot. I need to, uh, mute again. Let me rewind that. What was she doing there? She looked like she was doing duck lips again. Yeah, that's sweet, thanks. Let me, let me see if I can go back a bit more. No. Yeah. Can I slow it down? This is what I like about YouTube, you can slow down things. I'm gonna give Pete, I'm gonna give everyone a bit of nightmare fuel here. That's sweet, thanks. There we go, people. 
that's uh, that's what po body positivity gets you. Um, plus, you know, I mean, just <sighs> I, I mean, the very the very meme of a fourteen year old trapped in a thirty year old's body is very very appropriate here right about now. Let's put this back to regular speed. Oh, I think the guy's come out. Oh, God. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I'll be taking care of you. What can I for you? I'll have Coke Zero. Sure. Uh, I'll take uh, back to back. Sure, I'll get those rings and some bread for you. Thank you. This is some amazing content. Just the zoomed in part of Amber right here. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, this is absolutely the, uh, riveting. Do you know what you're gonna get? Yeah. What are you gonna get? Uh, the tomato basil pasta is what I get every time. Yeah, you do. She wants cheesecake this time, but every time we come here, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna get cheesecake, but then we never do. We end up too full. Yeah, that's crazy. We got the bread. With some butter. We got a Becky with some cutie. <laughs> so here is my food. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is like white meat orange chicken. This is the best. I feel like I was covering the speaker, so if I was, I'm sorry. She definitely was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. I don't really know how to do thumbnails anymore. What do you mean? <clears throat> you did them before just fine. Oh yeah, when I was doing it from my phone. What's the difference in doing it from the camera? From what I believe, she doesn't know how to thumbnail edit. She uh, picks the free pictures that are pre- um, Pre-generated. I mean, this channel uses pre-generated thumbnails, but that's because I don't really care too much to put down thumbnails. Maybe one day I'll actually care about maybe making some sort of thumbnail that's attractive to click, I guess you could say, but I, I don't mind it otherwise. Amber just does it because she's lazy, and she also says that um, she just picks whatever YouTube generates, which is fair enough. But sometimes some of the thumbnails just come across as low effort. There's like people who've done vlog videos that I've watched online that put more effort into their thumbnails. All I'm saying is if you're doing something like this for a living, you should be putting a bit more effort into it, and that goes for actual thumbnails. As for, you know, uh, scrubby channels like this one, <laughs> you're not gonna have, you're not gonna really expect too much. Although maybe if I can be bothered to later down the line, maybe, maybe. But then again, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm just getting paid for it. It was on my phone. I'd screenshot the thumbnail. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How's your food? Delicious. You want to show them what you got? Yeah, this advert. This advert. This, uh videos turning into a bit of a train wreck. I'm definitely installing uh, Adblock after this, to be fair. Tomato basil pasta. That's a pretty healthy looking meal. I didn't know it came with chicken, but that's okay. Really? Yeah. Doesn't it always? Um. I mean, pasta itself isn't really all that healthy if you have it too often, but... In comparison to what Amber's eating, it's definitely a, a, a lot healthier. That's something you'd probably have, like, when you eat out once a week, or twice a week or something. And you're kind of watching your diet, but you want to have something that's, that's rather filling, I guess. I don't know. We don't oh. come here that often, so I don't... It's like I don't remember it coming with chicken. They don't come here that often, that sounds like a giant lie to me. This is what she gets every single time. Literally every time. <laughs> every single time, yet they don't come here that often. You see the, uh, the, uh, what's the word? The, um, contradiction already, people. Alright, well I'm gonna keep eating. I'll catch up with you guys later. 
so I did eat a lot you guys but I wanted some ice cream so I'm just gonna get a little bit of vanilla ice cream and Becky wanted cheesecake so we both got a to-go thing I never finished mine they, the portion is way too big yeah it's definitely like really big I hope this doesn't get copyrighted because all the music in the background <laughs> that suck what were you gonna say babe the music doesn't sound audible enough for YouTube to pick it up, but then again, I suppose you would be surprised over what YouTube can pick up on sometimes. Can I have your box? Yeah, I'm trying to close it. It's not closing, can you close it? It's like, was yours hard to close too? Are you sure it's closed? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. Oops. <clears throat> I was thinking about going to Torrid. I'm trying on some... Am I even in the frame? Yeah. I look like a hot mess though. Narcissist Lynn back, back at it again with the Am I in the frame? Do I look, do I look hot to you guys? Get out of town. Oh, I forgot that I used that napkin for... Do I, do I have anything on my shirt? Oh my god. No. Are you sure? Yeah. You promise? Promise. Okay. I don't see anything. This is one of my new shirts. Okay, um. I was thinking about going to tour and trying on some clothes, but... I felt, first of all, I feel bad about myself. Second of all, I just got done stuffing my face. And like, you feel like kind of lethargic after you eat like food that's bad for you, so it's like... You feel lethargic after eating food that's bad for you. I'm surprised she doesn't feel lethargic every day she wakes up. I definitely would be myself if I was this weight, to be honest. Like, that's lethargic weight right there every day. That's the kind of way where you get up and you're, you have bad back pain. And yet she's treating this like it's a game. I don't know. What do you think I should do? Um, maybe after, you know, we leave here and see how you feel. Yeah. And Becky trying not to offend her by basically implying that it might be her weight, you know. Then again, Becky's not that far behind, but she looks somewhat healthier than Amber, I, I suppose. But not by very much. That's true. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Just some vanilla ice cream. I was hoping it would- Oh look, more junk food. Great idea. Stuff yourself with dessert after feeling lethargic after a meal. Good idea. It was just one scoop because I'm like, I want to see yours. What kind is it? Um, caramel turtle uh, pecan. Have you tried it yet? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. Hey! We are done with our food, y'all. I barely ate any of the ice cream. It's like melted. I don't know why. Why well, I can't finish anything when I come here. Because you're a dainty little stomach. Your face. But yeah, we're paying in cash today because I happen to have some cash. No, she's not a dainty little stomach, Amber. Becky probably just probably gets fuller quicker. Because she doesn't gorge like you do. Or binge for that matter. We're just waiting for him to come pick it up. And then we'll leave. Where's the first stop you want to go to? Hot Topic, right? You're obsessed. They're gonna end up doing the whole lot, they? Like, like they always do. It's funny, really, if you look at this video and look at what she's doing with the latest stuff, it's pretty much the same deal, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't care to admit that I like it because a lot of people are like, oh my god, hot, hot, hot topic, what are you, 15? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. They have what I like to wear. That's, That's a good thing. thing. I wouldn't consider that a bad thing. No. <laughs>
Plus, you got three shirts, some buttons, and whatnot. Last time you went for only like $50. That's not bad. I can hear the Katy Perry song Firework in the background. That's probably the most interesting thing in this video right about now. I hope they still have that same thing going on. I'm sure they I'm sure they will. I return to Yankee. Now I've got to mute the advert. I'm definitely getting that block installed. Oh, that's the end of the video. And you've got a uh, irked content. Big ups to um, irked content. I watch their stuff all the time. It's great stuff. Highly recommended. Uh, same with random content. Um, and Orange Queen. Can never forget Orange Queen. Shout outs to those channels. They're uh, fantastic uh, sources of detractor content for the uh, for the Amberverse, as, uh, as they uh, say. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off from this. Thank you for watching this train wreck of a video, I guess, and when I get out, uh, out block installed, and we can watch uh, some more Amber Madness, uh, we will. I'm thinking of maybe reacting to most of the other mukbangs. I'll try and keep it as varied as possible, too, and see if I can find some other videos that are fun to react to. Maybe from a few from the Destiny era, maybe some from the later era, which we're experiencing now. Just, uh, just as it is, I'll play it by ear.